Welcome, welcome Leos and soulmates. I am Key and this is our doorway. Before we enter the doorway towards the Akashi Records Library, this is one sun, moon, and rising sign. If this reading resonates with you, press the like button, share the video with others, and subscribe. If the reading doesn't, as your key and guide, we all hold the 12 zodiac signs within us. So, through Kiki's doorway, there are other star readings that has been written and read out. So, I know this is the 6th of January, but this is also for January 4th through January 17th, 2019. On the third day, it was felt that it would be more receptive to know more about the past and see how the past influenced the present. Emotions, energetically as well. So, let's begin. Leos and soulmates. Akashi Records is Leo's and Soulmate, Masculine, Feminine, and Soulmate. Past Gift. Okay. What would be taking place emotionally, energetically for Mr. and Miss Leos and Soulmate from January the 4th to January the 17th, 2019? What will take place emotionally, energetically? See if we all have the tablets and books. One more. Okay. Masculine Leo, your past life, you have been the engine to lead you have been that engine to lead in Egypt in order to be the leader in Egypt you had to learn What gives it rejuvenation? If you're the engine, what gives it rejuvenation? That's what you learned in your past life. That is your present gift to yourself. How to not even be just an engine, but how to rejuvenate. Female Leos. Wow. You are in your past life. You have walked as a galactic. You are the star that seen potential 
that seem a soul connection to a planet that was not recognized or rejuvenated but from your source from your sun solar you became the sun to spark planet Gaia mother earth you are that star that represents also the sun so feminine you have that as a gift that you have not only walked in but now in your present you will be showing what makes you a leader what makes you a guide always soulmate your past life you are a part of the angels you are an angel you are the anchor you showed humanity human beings or beings in this world how to be admirable admirable by first showing acknowledgement you guided us or allowed us to see through actions that you witness us take how to become more admirable and acknowledge people more ah galactic you're in sync with the feminine that's how you miss female lioness or the feminine Leos how you are the leader because you're anchored by angels you are an angel as well you commune with angels so Trinity seeing and reading how your past life has been presented to you let's see how it's been played out emotionally energetically for the next two weeks the first week masculine Leo you're in the house of Sagittarius the ninth house you're becoming the go-getter you're going on that saddle you're sailing you're settling you're seeing what settlers are made of in order to be a settler you had to start you had to see the stage in which to showcase yourself as a leader and what you have learned from your environment seeing the environment as an engine your environment in Egypt guided you why masculine that is the chromosome within you this is of your bloodline so you had to go within to see how to connect in your present life what gives you an engine what have you learned so far that you can be a leader in to become that engine to become that horse power so you're spending time in a quiet meditation you're becoming that spiritual teacher you're about to go in training so self-discovery is at hand when we train in anything we learn we find out more about ourselves so feminine from you learning that you are galactic you are a guide in the atmosphere you are that anchor like the angels like the soulmate 
and masculine counterpart. And for that, you become the will. You are Archangel Michael, soulmate. That's why it was tilted over. Now it's understood. Now it's seen. So you have all the fixed signs. You have Aquarius, which is all about what we articulate what we articulate you also have Scorpio what is the source of what you want to articulate in your world you have Leo you are Leo, Miss Lioness, feminine, to show you the way in which how you are destined to be a leader and what you have learned about what way you want to lead will require you to understand what have you leaned on in your world that has made you walk this path. So, a time of positive change, a situation suddenly moves forward because you now know what gives you that fire, what gives you that foundation. So, fortune is on your side, no matter how you turn the wheel in your world. So, me. Ah. Like the masculine and even the feminine has understood. You are embracing the ninth house. In your atmosphere. You're communicating. What gives you. That need to become. The go getter. What gives you that. start to become an angel becoming that anchor in your atmosphere so expecting the worst like all things in our atmosphere our atmosphere changes it had to experience a motion too like a human being does Aggravation, anger, and even activation. So, to be go, to begin to go as a go-getter, you had to go in the ninth house. You have walked this path without even realizing it. You might not have realized it because you have been communicating that to the world but maybe it's time for you to communicate to the people in your environment the second week so you have done the right thing to become that getter go getter in your atmosphere yes now you're seeing you want to become articulate and why you want to be that angel in your atmosphere Self-fulfilling prophecies. If you have sleepless nights, soulmate, it's because you're trying to find a solution on how to be that angel in your present life. How to be that anchor in your own atmosphere. You will see that. In order to be a go-getter, you have everybody here that is looking for you to lead them. They're just waiting on you to leave them. So it's not like the people in your atmosphere will not go if you guide them. They will. But in order to be that guide, you must know what you want to go forward in. So the sleepless nights is there to help you with solutions that can become that notion in the second week. Masculine Leos, you are 
like your feminine. In the tenth house, yet in your world, you are using the wonders in which you have already walked in in your past life. And in your present, you're seeing a comparison on how you can walk in it in your world now. So, in the second week, you have been the captivator of your world. The 10th house is the 10th house of Capricorn, and Capricorn is all about what you captivate. And you're using your emotions to give you that engine. And you're using your intuition to ignite how you want to become a leader. So, a contented and rewarded family life, your emotional and material needs are met in the second week. You're starting to twine in together team together with trustworthy relationships. That's wonderful, masculine. Feminine, in the second week. Wow. You're becoming a knight of earth. You're becoming a knight of your environment. The knight, like your masculine, and even feminine, had to embrace you're embracing it as a knight. A knight is all about what you are dedicated to, loyal to, and what you protect. And what you're protecting and dedicating yourself to and becoming loyal to is your environment, your endeavors in your environment. So people are seeing you and you're seeing yourself as loyal, dedicated, honorable, and kind. You understand what you're going towards and you're merging what gives you the lessons you have learned in becoming a leader. So, time to buckle down in that search and get things done. When you're doing that, as you're doing that, physically, through your emotions, and the energy you put into it, you will be recognized as honored for your commitments and like your soulmate and masculine counterpart as a guardian angel. Soulmate, second week. Okay, so you understand that you want to be effective in your environment. So, in order to do that, you went six sec six flights down to the third house. Third house is the house of Gemini. You're becoming the gem. You now know that in order to become an angel, you want to germinate what is the seed in which to be an angel. How do you want that seed that you plant to not only germinate, but to grow? And you're using the house of communication to do that. That is going to build your foundation. What gives you that desire, what gives you that need to drive you and determine will be based on that. You have the trinity within you. You have the masculine, which is all about what activates you. Feminine, all about what you have trained in and soul. What you're about to germinate in your foundation. That will give you abundance 
And you will start to see in the second week soulmate. From your go-getter guidance in the atmosphere. Things will start to look very good. And you'll have and be recognized for your patience at this time. In the second week, you'll start to see and feel the need to make long-term plans because your foundation affects more than just you. It affects your atmosphere. So, Trinity, if this reading resonates with you, press the like button. The like button, for me, gives me as your key an acknowledgement that I am walking with you in the right direction. Share the video or reading with others and subscribe. If you would like me as a personal key or guidance in the description box, there is where you can find information on how to bond with me and connect with me as not only just key, but as a true walking guide with you, being my name is Kiana as well. That is my real name. The close people in my world know me as Key. So that's why I am a key for you. And would like to continue to be. Thank you for even watching. I love you. I love you. I love you. We will see you on the other side.